So now we're going to look at a couple problems where we're going to estimate values and sort of start working through the problem solving process. Uh, so the first question is, how many times does your heart beat in a year? And so we see this question, and in order to answer it, we need to figure out what information do I need to know to answer this? What am I looking for? How am I going to get there? So the question we're trying to answer is, how many times does your heart beat in a year? In order to figure this out, I'm going to need to know maybe something about how my heart beats. And the thing that comes to mind is heartbeats per minute because that's something I'm more familiar with. I can measure my heartbeats in a minute and figure out that my heart beats about 80 beats in one minute. Yours might be a little different, but it's going to be somewhere around there. Uh, and then uh, once I know that value, I could convert this into beats per year. And in order to do that, I just need some unit conversions. So I know that, uh, let's see here, I want to get beats per year. So I need to get rid of minutes. Notice to get rid of minutes, I'm going to need to put them on the top here so they'll cancel with the minutes in the bottom. So let's see here, I know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. I know that there are 24 hours in one day. And I know that there are 365 days in one year. And so by doing this series of unit conversions, I will end up with beats per year. So multiplying that out, we get about 42 million beats per year. So your heart beats about 42 million times a year. Let's try another one. So how thick is a single sheet of paper? How much does it weigh? So again, think about what we're trying to answer and what information we would need and what kind of relationships we would need in order to be able to solve this. So trying to measure a single sheet of paper would be hard, but we could think instead about something easier to think about, like a stack of paper. You've probably bought uh, a packet of paper from the store before, or at least seen one. Uh, they're usually sold in what's called a ream of paper, which is 500 sheets. Uh, it comes in a little packet. And I if you think about that, uh, you know, it probably is about 2 inches thick and probably weighs about 5 pounds. Uh, and once, uh, once we have that as a reference, right, now we can scale down these quantities. So if it's 2 inches for 500 sheets of paper, right, we can go ahead and, and uh, divide that out and get 0.04 uh, inches per sheet. Uh, likewise, if we've got 5 pounds, for those 500 sheets. We can divide that out and get 0 0.01 pounds per sheet. Uh, you know, and if you don't like pounds, we could also do a unit conversion here and say 16 ounces is one, uh, one pound and end up with 0 0.16 ounces per sheet if you'd prefer the answer in ounces.